hello guys welcome to my channel in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how i made this pleated crinoline fascinator please kindly subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell to always get new videos from me now i'll be making use of this bishop cap this pleated crinoline one yard of it one yard is about 36 inches okay I'll be needing our needle and fishing line. This is the way fishing line looks like, and it's about 0.33 mm. So, to start, I'll be folding the tip of the screen only this way. Just watch what I'm doing closely. Make sure you don't fast forward if you really want to get the best from this tutorial because. If you don't follow the order that way, you might not really get it. This design is kind of complicated. So you need to pay attention to details. Just watch what I'm doing and you really get what I'm really doing. Okay? <laughs> so let's continue. I hope you're watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not really done that. You can pause the video and do that before you continue with this video. So this is what I'm doing. I am tacking this crinoline together with this bishop cap with my needle and fishing line. Just watch closely the way I'm doing it. It's very simple. It's not really difficult. If you really pay attention to details, you really get it exactly the way I'm doing it. So you continue sewing it and pleating it this way as well as you're doing it in order to make it go around properly. That's why I'm doing it like that. So just watch the way I'm doing it. You need to really watch closely. As I said, you can see the way I'm kind of folding it and sewing it as well. You just need to follow this order to get what I'm doing. So you keep doing it that way and keep you know folding it this way will i call it folding or pleating which of them anyone jerry so you keep doing it like that so watch closely what i'm doing and what i'm about to do next you need to watch closely pay attention to details if you really want to get the best from this tutorial okay so this is what i'll keep doing you can see the way i am arranging it properly as i'm sewing with my needle and fishing line you keep arranging properly and keep sewing So you can see the way it's turning out. And I hope you watched and you know noted where I started and where I am now. This is what you are meant to you know pay attention to so that you won't start doing something else that is different from that. If you didn't start exactly where I started from this bishop cap, you might not really get it that way. This covering might be somewhere else in order. To. So just follow the procedure and where I started from this bishop cap with this pleated crinoline and where I am now, you really get it. So you keep sewing it and arranging it as I said. You can see the way it's turning out to be. So this is what you keep doing. You can see it is turning out 
to be a beautiful fascinator. You keep sewing and keep arranging it well, as I said. You can see what I am doing. So as you are sewing, you are arranging it very well. Make sure your work looks neat as you are doing this, okay? Don't make your work look dirty. That's why I'm arranging it as I'm sewing it so that it will turn out to be a nice and a beautiful fascinator. So you keep watching and know what's going to be the end result of this fascinator because I believe it's going to turn out to be a beautiful fascinator. Very beautiful. Even more than what you saw in the picture before you started watching so keep watching and get what we are doing okay so i'm still reminding those that have not subscribed to my channel to kindly click on the subscribe button if you've not really done that please pause this video and do that before you continue post the video and click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell to get notifications for our new videos because if you don't click the notification bell after clicking the subscribe button you won't be notified whenever we post any new videos so you need to do that so that you'll be notified whenever we post new videos okay so you keep doing this you can see where I am now so just watch the next step and what I'm going to do so you can see what I just did now I turned it this way or I folded it that way Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm still tacking it with my fishing line and needle. So watch closely and see what I am doing. So, see the way I'm pleating it. Can you see? I'm doing a running stitch with the remaining crinoline. I hope you're seeing it. I'm doing a running stitch. Just watch closely and you'll get what I am doing. So, when you get to that place, you just do it this way. You can see the way I'm turning it. Can you see what I'm doing? That's why I said that you just need to pay attention to details in this video. If you really want to get what we are doing here. So... You keep sewing as I'm doing. You keep sewing. So you still do a running stitch with the remaining one. Can you see where I stopped? So you keep sewing and attaching it to this bishop cap. So that it stays. Make sure you tap very well so that this design doesn't fly off. If you don't really sew severally, it might be flying and it won't slap. So you can sew severally 
for this to stay very well. Can you see the way it is? Can you see the way it has turned out to be? So the remaining crinoline, you just put it inside this way and you sew with your fishing line and needle. So you need to make sure it stays very well. That's why I'm tacking it severally just to make sure it stays properly so that it won't fly off so you watch and see how we're gonna end this beautiful fascinator so it's turning out to be a nice one so can you see what that's done that to be so this is it can you see the way it looks like can you see the middle i'll tie and cut out the excess make sure you tie properly as i've cut out the excess fishing line i'm still tying it up you can see what i'm doing just tie severally okay then I'll cut out the SS fishing line as well. So this is our fascinator. We're going to put a design in those two places I pointed out. So with your hot glue gun plugged in, you put your gun. This is a rose I formed. This is two roses on one strip. I'll be teaching you how to do that in my next video and this is a single rose if you still want to learn that I'll still drop a link on how to do it okay I'll be teaching this two roses the first one I put at the back is called one strip two roses one strip two roses and the other one is a single rose so thanks for watching god bless you